Hey guys, Scott here, and today I want to talk about the whole concept of second chance perks. This is a phrase I'm sure you've heard. It's usually used by killers to refer to things that survivors have that basically enable to have another life or take another hit in some way. Um, and then the usual complaint is that survivors can make a whole bunch of mistakes, but killers really can't make any mistakes. Killers don't get second chance perks. Why do survivors get them? And the immediate answer, which is half joking and half serious, is the reason that killers don't get second chance perks is because they can't die. There's no second chance to be had because the first chance implies they could be killed or removed from the match in some way. So it's an asymmetrical comparison that doesn't really make any sense. So the first whole argument that people make that killers don't have second chance perks it doesn't make any sense. They don't have a chance to begin with because they're they, they're invincible. They can't be killed. Um, a more accurate description of what I think the term really is, is like a mistake rectifying perk or something like that. Because there are a lot of things that killers and survivors have in which they can kind of make a mistake, but the perk will maybe help them a bit with the mistake they had and you won't really suffer too much for it. Um, I think that's a bit more accurate with them. That's sort of just semantics about what we're calling the things. Um, what I really want to talk about though is that whole concept that second chance perks are second chance perks and i think a lot of people misuse this because let's really analyze what what is a second chance perk a second chance perk is according to people that use that term something that allows you to have a second chance at living whereas you normally would have died if you didn't have the perk but with the perk it gives you another chance um but that also implies that the first chance was sort of in your control. And what I mean by that is, let's look at, um, you know, borrowed time or uh, off the record or, you know, any of those second chance perks that, you know, people would describe as such. To me, borrowed time and off the record, again, for example, are not second chance perks. They're a chance perks. Because if a killer is camping and tunneling somebody off the hook and you don't have any of these perks, you just die. You never had a chance to begin with because the chances are killer can just pretty easily tunnel you off the hook if you have nothing really protecting you from that. Yeah, a teammate can try to body block, but it's pretty easy to, for the killer to get around unless they're stuck in like a hallway or something like that and there's no other way around. Um, so in my opinion, those like those are not second chance perks because frankly, the survivor had no chance to begin with. They are a chance perks. Borrow time lets you have a chance to not immediately get tunneled off the hook. Off the record gives you a chance to not immediately get tunneled off the hook. The science to strike gives you a chance to not immediately die when you get picked up. Like, those are not things that are a survivor making a mistake. It's not a mistake to get unhooked, but someone's camping you. You have no control over that scenario. The survivor's not playing badly. And sure, they went down at some point to get on the hook, but that doesn't imply that the only way that you go down is from a survivor you know, making a mistake. Sometimes you have to one for one for somebody. Sometimes you're in a dead zone. Sometimes you have to save somebody else. Sometimes, like there are millions of examples of, you know, survivors getting downed without them making any mistakes. So the fact that they're called second chance perks when they don't have a first chance to begin with, to me, it makes no sense. Now, to me, what a real second chance perk was, was like old dead hard. Old dead hard was a true second chance perk because you could just straight up make a mistake in a loop and then just rectify your mistake every time you had the perk up. That was a true second chance because he gave you essentially a bonus life. And that's why the perk was so problematic and why it was nerfed. We're to a point now where there aren't that many second chance perks actually left in the game. And I think it's more fair to call them mistake rectifying perks instead, at which point killer and survivor both have those types of perks. And to help show this, uh, I want to go over this game that has been playing here. Um, this match was one of the worst matches I have ever played in my entire life. I made so many mistakes in this match. It was embarrassing. It was just absolute horrible play. I completely deserved to lose. I missed like half of my charges. It was just really, really terrible. And yet, I still won. And I won only because of the perks that I had. The only reason this game was a win for me is because I had Call of Brian and because I had Eruption. Those perks literally regressed three generators worth of generators for me and single-handedly won me the entire game. So I just want to kind of have that discussion where people usually talk about second chance perks and things like that sort of benefiting for survivors, but I don't think that killer gets enough credit or I guess discredit the way you want to look at it for how many, um, you know, perks they have that can also make up for a lot of mistakes that were done uh, during the match. The thing is, by definition, every perk in the game is a crutch perk. Because perks are optional, you don't actually have to bring them. Now, obviously, the game is balanced around you having them, but every perk is technically a crutch perk. You don't have to bring them. So, there are a lot of crutch perks in this game for both sides, 
that allow you to make a ton of mistakes and yet you still end up winning because the perks will make up for your mistakes. And again, this is a both sides thing and I just want this argument to be less one-sided. It's the whole point of this video, I think. Um, survivors get too much shit for this when killers have just as many things that allow them to make mistakes and still win. And I think the conversation needs to be less one-sided and there are certainly annoying things to complain about on both sides. Um, you know, uh, and... I think that's what the discussion needs to go towards, that it's a pretty even split between perks that rectify mistakes, and I hope people will have more uh, balanced conversations about that. That's pretty much it. Oh, so anyway, uh, here is the rest of this game where I just play abysmally. The game lasts literally 20 minutes because my perks just make the game last for so long. They all play pretty damn well. I play like garbage, and I still end up winning just because of my perks, so... I just wanted to give an embarrassing example of my end of me being completely carried by perks on the killer side. Um, but that is it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Team months. Appreciate that. At least the team's fully infected now. That'll save me some time. Nice enough better killers than we have these games. I mean, everyone fucks up. I'm like super tired too. It's past my normal stream time. That's why I'm sucking copium. I mean, I can call it Brian. It's excellent. That did, what is that? Oh, that actually wasn't a real person. I don't know where the guy that saved him went. I prefer to not go for him. I can't really down her here. Wait. No, that was God window. I, I, dude, I legit don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Every single play I've made this match has been horrible. Just objectively horrible. Played. Bro, I just can't down anybody. I hate this map so much. This map is absolutely killer sided. I'm just literal trash. Dude, I have done nothing right. Why is this game even still up? I don't understand. I have done nothing right for like nine minutes straight. I've made every possible mistake that you can make. And yet, for some reason, I haven't lost yet. And then I purchased Otico uh, yesterday. That might be a diversion. There's nothing that can make scratches there. Wait, are you stuck? What happened there? gonna pick him up. There's a hook right here. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. 
set up that eruption. Does the version make scratches? Yep. Couldn't have known. Alright. As long as no one's on that one, that's good. Hmm. I don't know where anybody else is. They fully reset. Anyway. She did have sprint burst. She still got the god window here. She didn't use it though. That was kind of her. I want to push you away from that side. There we go. Go back into here. This is where my three gen is. <laughs> okay. I just saw I go in a locker there. Fuck. Maybe she'll think I didn't see her or something. Imagine over yet? I don't know. No point in going for that guy. And she should be dead. But she does have sprint burst. Oh wait, you're not injured. The one non injured guy. have enough gen pressure right now, I think, to win this. Like I said, I don't deserve to win for how trash I played. Why'd I do that? <laughs> oh, you're one shot. And then I fucking blow it. Oh my god, I'm so trash, dude. Literally just throwing the game. I, I will legit be mad if I win this. Like, if I win, something is wrong with this game. I still have God Bus here. I can never defend this gen. God Bus with the pallet still up. Like, I should have had that Kate dead, but I'm just fucking horrible. <laughs> oh my god, I am literally missing every single hit. Every single one I'm missing. using call of brian do uh makes me miss every shot Is that all you okay i'm gonna watch you in this way you disappoint me. Is that one option am i purposely not using m1 pretty much yeah that was terrifying the slowdown is just too powerful 
no pressure on that guy because there's not even a hook state on him yet. Need to make sure no one ninjas this one. Okay, good. Oh, I only have one charge? Fucking damn it. Let me just leave him. He's gonna run smartly to the other side. No gens there. No reason to go there. He'll eventually, like, they'll eventually run out of uh, infection gears. I hate that this boss is still here, though. Is Brutal Strength worth it on this build? Yeah, Brutal Strength just feels good. Bar turns yellow. What more do you need? They just all run to the other side immediately now. She has Rimper, so no point in chasing. If I played literally anything well here, this game would be so over. And in fact, the only reason it's not over is because Azeroth is a killer side in map. That's the only reason this match is not over. <laughs> I, expected more from I think I'll commit to this. Nah, she still has a long wall here, though. Option. I can just worry her, but that honestly would just be slower, I think. That's perfect, exactly where we need to go. I think at this point I just kill. Eruption too good. Eruption did carry a lot of this. They might finish that gen now though, but we'll see. I'm just gonna chase rather than go defend the last gen. I'm even gonna pick up, which is a terrible idea. Two of them got incapped, yeah. Ugh, I even heard it too. I reacted so late. Again, every mistake I could possibly make, I'm making. I think this uh, this whole match is a excellent case study. You know how like people always say, man, survivors can just make millions of mistakes. They have so many second chances. And then that's like the main argument that people make. I think this is a perfect example of the killer making 50 mistakes and perks just fixing that. You know what I mean? Everyone always says that the killer doesn't have second chance perks and stuff. Like, dude, I, I, this game lasted three hours longer than it needed to because I had Eruption and uh, Colobrine. And the hatch also spawns right on top of me too, yeah, like... <laughs> I think this... Dude, I might actually make a video, like, about this game in particular. <laughs> Just because, like, I don't... <laughs> I, I did not deserve to win this. But Eruption, Call of Brian, and the map completely just carried the shit out of me. Mori, oh my god, fine. Uh, Jetstream, thank you for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Look at, like I said it earlier, if I win this game, something is wrong. <laughs> I did not deserve to win this. I deserve to win this because the perks I ran. I mean, that's like, dude, that's the thing though. It's like people always make the same argument, like saying survivors have so many second chance perks. 
I literally was carried by my perks completely. 100% carried by my perks. If I didn't have Call of Brian and uh, Eruption, would not have won.